Okay. So we're just crossing the residential area right now. And we're going to the Minya, which is the fancy part of town. Alright. This is not as scary as it looks. It's not bad at all. <laughs> so on my last day in Belgrade, I completed my scooter ride and I had the opportunity to see different neighborhoods. I went to a fast food restaurant and I ended up at a very sad part of the city that you will discover later on in the video. I highly recommend this scooter ride to get a general overview of the city of Belgrade. Beautiful day in Belgrade. Beautiful day. <laughs> you know, this particular model of Fiat was produced in Serbia, Western Serbia. It's Fiat 500L model. Yeah. Bought by Chrysler and then bought by its, uh, another factory, which bought them. So it's a Fiat Chrysler. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you like the car. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Do you like your Fiat? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's been uh, exported to United States as well. I did, you did see many people. Yeah, we, they have in the US. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does it drink? Does it take a lot of gas? A lot of fuel? Yeah. No? No. Okay. Where are you from? Washington, D.C. Yeah. How about you? Right. Here? You yeah. from here? Yeah. All right. <laughs> How you doing? Ciao, ciao. Yeah. It was here that we approach the ruins of what's left of the 1999 bombings when the city of Belgrade that has been through so many wars and conflict was suddenly in the crosshairs again. You can only imagine the terror of Serbians trying to live a normal life when they were bombed by these fighter jets overhead. Looking at what's left of these buildings in the middle of Belgrade, it feels like this happened yesterday. Many of the people still live in the area, even though it was almost 23 years ago. Belgrade is still scarred and many parts of the city seems today as though they've just been hit. Physically and maybe even psychologically, the recovery continues. Serbia is an amazing country and the locals are super friendly. Belgrade features enchanting landscapes and are truly a feast for the eyes and the soul. Whichever region of Serbia you choose to visit, you are guaranteed to leave with a lasting impressions of its magical scenery and unraveled experiences. I believe it's a good idea yeah, to have a scooter tour these days. Oh, it's amazing. And the weather is perfect. In the morning it was a rain. Yeah, it's a there's been centuries of influences coming from various cultures that have created a unique blend of culinary and local tradition specific to Belgrade. Amidst all this diversity, Serbia capital has also developed gastronomy flavors, habits, and rituals not found anywhere else. This rich cuisine will inspire you to taste something new every time. And I strongly recommend that you watch my personal experience with Serbian food in the video titled how to survive serbia when you're hungry tired and lost available now on this channel so here in smash burgers what part of the neighborhood is this uh, it's city it's city outskirts of the city city center city, city center. center yeah they run, okay they run it for, the, for a year almost okay and what are they known for i mean obviously burgers well, yeah. <laughs> the, the first journey in u.s burger oh, okay. here in, uh, in okay. uh, serbia all right. Let's uh, tell us the details. Okay. Yes. All right. So yeah. it came to smash burgers. Yeah. I guess you try something like that in the States. Of course. It's similar to Five Guys, Shake Shack. Yeah. Yeah, but only with high quality materials. Why well, I call it meat, high quality cheese. Yeah. So here on the menu. Is your menu. Okay. Yeah. First, you choose the size of the burger. Double, yeah. triple, double, double, triple, double, triple, double, triple, triple. You, okay. Then you choose the type of the burger. Yeah. Nice and original barbecue jalapeno. Right on. Uh, barbecue jalapeno is the unusual one. Yeah. So yeah, she, she's uh, taking a video of me while you are taking a video of her. <laughs> that's good, that's good. It's all right. So the barbecue jalapeno is the spicy one. Yeah. Because it goes with the jalapeno peppers. In yeah. States, you are familiar with the jalapenos. Yeah. With the cabaneros. Carolina, yeah, and all of that. And it goes with crunchy onions, a bit of pepper, and barbecue sauce. I would suggest that if you like spicy. Yeah. You like spicy? I do. Like, okay. Yeah. 
And you have the original one, it goes with ice for lettuce, pickles, onions, yeah. burger sauce. Alright. And the classical one is classic. Pickles, onions, mustard, and ketchup. Yeah, but I need something to drink with a burger. So what do you yeah. what do you have? Yeah, we have like uh, yeah, you can like take a we have garlic for beer. You can no have whiskey, no burgers and no yeah, this liquor. Is, this is still like fast food. It's not. Oh, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. We're gonna yeah. expand. Okay. And the bread, do you have different type of bread, or is it what the same type of bread? Same type of bread. Same. Yeah. Okay. All right. So guys, if you come to Serbia, this is the place you want to hit right here. All right. Small but but very soft bun. Okay. All right. Smash burger. That's where you gotta come. All right. All the different currencies. Yeah. Never five and never one right there. All right. Cool. So. Thank you, man. And the Coke here, it tastes different. So it's more than just the letters. There is another one. There's actually a different taste. Oh, thank you. Sure. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Smash burgers is where it's at. Guys, right, so I'm back to my hotel. And uh, it was a great, great day. I originally booked a scooter tour and the guy canceled. So the Segway tour got canceled. I went forward with the scooter tour guys and I went around Serbia today. It was great, beautiful city. It's a combination of modern, old architecture. It is really modern in some parts. It's underdeveloped in others. It's amazing. Uh, very friendly people, really, really nice host. But the main thing that happened today is that I learned about the history of this area that I didn't know, I have to admit. I was not familiar with Yugoslavia history. I know the name Yugoslavia, but I didn't know what happened here. So uh, without preaching, uh, do some research and reading on this. It's a very interesting subject. And I learned about cargo. If you come to Serbia, there's no Uber here. And I was very frustrated with taxis earlier. It is the most painful process, but they do have an application called Cargo. It works exactly like Uber. You basically book, put your address where you're going, they come and pick you up and you're on your way. No need to look for cash and you won't get ripped off by these taxi drivers here. They have a lot of great spot, uh, spots here to drink, eat, and Serbian cuisine is one of my favorite in the world. So I highly recommend it. And my guide's information is gonna be provided on the description. Thank you so much for the tour today. I learned a lot and we were able to cover so many grounds. We went to this area called Benton Hall. We went to the tomb of Tito, one of the former leaders of Yugoslavia. We went all over the city, you know? It was a great tour, and I, and I was able to cover grounds very quickly. I do wish I had more time here, you know, but we'll see what happens. So, can't recommend this place enough. It's a gorgeous city, really, really beautiful. And uh, I went to eat at Smash Burgers. I recommend that as well. It's a nice little joint. If you want something quick, Tastes good and reminds you of home. <laughs> I like I like it a lot. So thank you. And uh, you know, if it's your first time on my channel, please subscribe, press the like button, and if you have any questions, drop some comments. I'll get back to you guys. So from the beautiful city of Belgrade, have a great night, guys. See you on the next video. <laughs> good girls, huh? <laughs> good people, I think. Yes. Normal people. Yeah. <laughs> every, every country, yeah? Yeah.